Hello, family and friends. Welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird. I hope everyone is doing well. All right. Okay, my voice is still a little raspy, guys, but I, I think everyone can hear me um, just fine. I hope everyone is doing well and had a great and amazing weekend. Please be safe out there. There is a little bug going on around, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and jump into your message, guys. All right, let's see what is going on with you guys. All right, keep in, in mind the messages can fluctuate back and forth between you and your person. All right, ding, ding, that's your confirmation, baby. Any third-party energies that I see I pick up on, I will call it. Sun, moon, rising, third party, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Now, this jumped out sideways. Open your heart and allow yourself to be tender. All right, so this is this person or what this person is feeling about you. All right, they, okay, so someone here is feeling sideways about whether they should open up to you or not. Let's just see what's going on here. Ooh, this one. Um, privacy and violate personal space, respect the boundaries and taboos. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck, honey. Experiments, manipulation of, of nature, force and change in the pursuit of knowledge and arrogance. I feel like um, this person has been manipulating the energies between you and them. I feel like because this person wants to connect with you. Someone here could be 50-50. They could feel like, someone here could feel like, you know, they don't, they're not sure about your energy. Like, they're not sure of what you into. Shit, I don't know if you like. I don't know if you don't. Or if I don't know if you great. Uh, damn it. Uh, awareness. Yeah, contemplation, solitude, and time alone. This could be why someone... This is what someone's thinking. You're not connected to this person or connecting to this person at this time. The unseen. Too much in the head and from you. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> someone here could feel... Like, they don't know what to feel. They're like, let me take a time out because I don't know if this person is it. They don't, they can't like figure it out. They can't, they, they might not be figuring you out. All right. There's, they, there, you're, you could be like, they're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Something else. Let's get into this. Okay. They don't know if you light. They don't know if you dark, you gray, you orange. Um, they don't know what's going on. They don't know what's what's going on. Okay, so they they're trying to figure it out. This person could feel very, very, very connected to you. Here, all right. Um, here we got sanctuary. All right. Here they could feel like you are very sensitive to energy. This is someone that could also be nervous about you picking up on some shit. All right, you know they don't know. They they just don't know what to think. Now, someone here might not know, like, well, is, okay, if this is someone that is watching you, let's say, for example, you are a reader and you're connecting with someone. They don't know if you're talking to them, if you are talking to them. Like, they don't know what's going on. So that's letting me know that they are watching you, all right, and they're paying attention to you and they don't know how to read. This is someone here that decided to, I'm not going to lie, someone here could decided to take a time out here because they don't know. Now, that we don't have to go so spiritual. This is someone here that filling you out, all right, is the word I heard. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Damn it, I'm so pissed off. They feel like you pissed off. They don't know if you still mad or you ain't mad no more. They can't figure that out. They've been trying to read what you post. Um, read what you say, but they still can't figure you out. Things you're saying, things you are doing, some shit like that. So it's like, I don't know, but maybe, you know, I, I need to like take a step back. All right. Or take some time to myself. So, all right. Almighty, beautiful, universal, Holy Spirit. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what is going on, child. Take it how it resonates for you. There's something about a mistake here. Yeah, we got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. We got the Ace of Wands popping out and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, seven of that Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This person, ex exactly. It's almost, it's like they don't know if they should invest in this Ten of Cups or a new start. They don't know what to do. They feel like this, somebody here could be confused. 
We have Pisces, Scorpion, all fire signs is here, Aaron, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, the Hermit. They've been trying to dig deep within, trying to figure out. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Let's see what is going on here. Oh, child. This person is, is hot. Hot. I just got real hot. Yeah, two of swords. What is this? And the seven of swords. Okay, yeah. Someone here, they don't know what to think about you. They don't know what's going on. They could feel like you're um also a little... As, 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 I hear sneaky. You could stand out as well. All right? Right now, th this person do see you as someone who has healed a lot of yourself. This person can see you as a healer in your own right. But someone here, Aqua Aaron Energy, Libra and Virgo Energy, Sagittarius um, and Scorpio and Aqua Aaron here. It's, uh, they don't know. They cannot figure it out. All right. They can't figure you out. I want to see what the Seven of Swords is. Let's see, guys. We're going to sit that there. What is the Seven of Swords? Let's see what's going on here. One seven seven one zero seven seven is your angel number. Okay, guys, and I usually keep zero out because zero is nothing. But um, I was I heard one zero seven seven. All right, so maybe um I will start using zero in my angel numbers, and I do read them out. All right, so you have to accept that you have a great future that lies in the fort of you. 1077 appearance is an indicator of getting better things for your highest good. Okay. So someone here, that's the thing. I feel like this person does see um, things getting better, wants things better. Because when I see this Ace of Wands, this is a new start here. I'm going to be honest with you. Somebody here, this person does want sex. This person does want sex um, with you, um, okay? I'm going to just say this, like, uh, um, as well. Or this is someone that's been wanting sex. Now, on a different note, uh, someone here could have decided, you know what? I'm going to give this time out for a second here because I do see that sneaky-ass shit here. The Seven of Swords with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. And they could be hiding this from you, the fact that they actually are talking to someone else and they started seeing someone. Someone here could have caught time out. What's the Seven of Swords? Let's see what's going on. Let's do some clarification. Take it how it resonates with you. Someone here could have just felt like, you know, something was off. The energy's been off for a little while. They can't figure nothing, nothing out. I don't see anything being too manipulative here. I don't see the devil card. I don't see the moon card when it comes to, like, spell work. But someone here could have felt like, you know, someone here was taking a lot of jabs. Some shit like that. What's the Seven of Swords? You know, or being something he was hitting. The Hermit is here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh-uh. Eight of Cups. The Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Wands. Yeah. Someone here, uh, they, uh, they, they made an offer somewhere else this person decided to call this out i don't think they told you this no two of pentacles and the two of cups yep they went somewhere else they have another connection yep five of pentacles they could have decided to like leave this out in the cold and just let this go what's the two of swords what's the two of swords oh oh gosh yep queen of pentacles the knight of pentacles and yep they're worried this is someone here that is worried here. Uh, they could be a little bit very, very like defensive. All right, about this. Sorry, guys. Let me try to turn these around for you guys because I should have did it this way so you guys could see. I don't know what made me turn them around. This person is hiding this from you. This is behind your back here. Yep. That's exactly what this means. That's exactly what this is. Um, this is what this person has uh, decided to do. Yeah. They're very defensive here. They've been thinking a lot about this. Yep. And they decided to... Yeah. 
Yep, they did. All right, work this out. Cut this where they can't. They just they can't figure out. They can't figure you out. They can't tap in with you. It's become a big. I don't know if this is like a struggle or a burden or something that this person felt. Let's do some more clarification. And then we're going to see how this person wants to come to you. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, these cards. Oh. See y'all? Yep. Yeah. That's what they decided to do. Yeah. Yep. This new start. Uh, what's the Knight of Pentacles? <clears throat> I'm sorry. What's it? Uh, the... Oh, the Hermit. As soon as I said this, yeah. The Magician and the Ten of Swords. Yep. Um, I don't know if it's like... I don't know what it is. They, they, yeah. For some of you guys, it could be something you said. Yeah, Five of Swords, Ten of Ones, and it, yeah, it's something you said. Yep, and it confused them. And they're like, nah. <laughs> And I, and I think, I think what you, it's, I, this is what I think. I think you said something word for word and it fucked this person. Yep. You knew something. You did. I'm going to tell you what I think this is. And I'm going to be quite honest with you. Somebody could have thought they was being sneaky. This person could have thought they was hiding shit from you. This is also someone that could have ghosted you and they passed and had a new start with somewhere else. And you figured this shit out. Now, you might try. You on my damn channel. So if you an airbender, firebender, waterbender, earthbender, okay. And shout out to my alpha Lucas, which is sexy ass. You already know what the deal is. You already know what's up. We ain't tripping on nothing. So we are tapped in. If this person thought... Yes, yeah, so you you could be intuitive, you could be empathic, but you said some shit. I think you scared this person. I think you scared. Yep. <laughs> I really think you must have pulled somebody's card. What was it? Hold on now. Hold up. I know I can't Damn stand myself. It. I don't know what it was. I don't know. You could have, child, found out something through a reading. This is a reading. You could be a reader. I don't know. But something you fucking said, something you saw, honey. The higher consciousness is here, baby. With the eight of ones, I'm telling you. This scared this person shit, miss. If they ain't believe you, they believe your ass now. Yep, I told you. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you guys, this has to deal with the relationship they was in. They thought they was hiding from you. Yep, a sexual partner. Yes, I, I cannot. Look, no, this uh, child, the seven of swords, honey. They thought they was the emperor. Someone here thought they was hiding shit from you. No, you're not. The two of cups. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> they like, how the fuck? Yep, two of ones and the seven of pentacles. Child, what you saying? How someone here is like, you're, it, I don't know how you did this shit. They don't know how you did this shit. They don't know if you like dark orange, blue, what rum you on. Where, how, how many galaxies is in your bloodline? They are trying to figure this shit. <laughs> they like, how the fuck? They're blown away by you. Well, you know, on my channel, we do shit like that. Let me see how this person want to come towards you, honey. This shit is hilarious. All right. They're like, there's no way. The page, yeah. Child, this is someone that does want to make you an offer. And um, they do see you as wifey material. But they, they're, it's all, I think, they're nervous. You then scared. They, <laughs> they're like, there's. How am I going to make this person an offer now? Because they know too much. Child, we need to see. This is crazy. What's the judgment? Now, they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. So, I'm going to just say that. What's the judgment? Damn. Yep, the Five of Swords. Hell no. What they say, you know too much. And this is someone here. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. Yep, the Star card. This person also feels like you, you know, you can make a good team. You will make a good team. You guys could do a lot together. You could do a lot of maybe hello work or something like that together or here. But the thing is here, the Three of Swords, you know, you said something. Yep. 
Three of Cups is some court and the Wheel of Fortune. And it 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 changed everything. But I don't feel like it changed this person's feelings here with the Knight of Wands keep popping out. But it changed it did scare them enough to for them to take it like a pause. This person had to really like you could have also now let's 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 open this up a little bit more. You could have played stupid. You could allow this person to believe that you didn't know what you knew this whole time. And one day you just said, let me just give you some other fucking enlightenment on what the fuck the sun card keep coming out on what I really know, what's really going on. So you know where I stand and where we both stand so you don't get shit uh, misconstrued here. Yep, and that gave this person a time to reflect. Someone here is like, how did you know that? Someone here could have waited for a time to, like, soon as this person just, they just knew. They just thought they knew they got away with some shit. They thought they got away with this. They thought they hid this from you. They thought you didn't know yet, mind evasion. For somebody here, they're like, no, there's no way you know this. But you know this. Whatever this is, for you guys, it'll be different. You spoke the truth to this person. You could have checkmate this person. You put this person in their, in their place, whether they a man or a woman. And they're like, how did you even know that? You Out of the blue, you're like, look, let me tell you something. Just like you don't think I know about your little girlfriend that you got over there in South Carolina in that one zip code, in that one house, that one little uh, frat boy apartment that you think you got with your little friends when you got your little get Something like that. Women do it too. Damn it. You could have said something like that, that there's like, oh my God, you knew that? Yes, I knew that the whole time. But the fact that you thought you was going to keep something like that, child. Yes, honey. Magical moments. How the hell did you know that? Or you knew this the whole time. Oh my God. So whatever game they thought they was going to play, however way they thought they were going to come at you, or whatever they thought, it changed everything. If they already had did some shit behind your back that haven't manifested just yet, but was manifesting some things, they're scared shitless. Because uh, this shit's going to come out. And you're going to like, yeah. Okay. I just want to let you know I know it's you. And I've seen you the whole time. Oh, yep. Um, someone here, to, uh, pictures is here. This person still looks at your pitch, pictures, and this is someone that's guilty because whatever you said was the truth. Period. They thought they got away. Cold as ice. I'm gonna tell you something here. This person also has been drinking a lot. I heard so, um, drowning in their pain about you. Someone here, they. Like I said, this person is drowning in their own sorrows and pain. Someone here could be drinking a lot. This could represent narcotics. This could represent a lot of things. And it's because of what you knew. And you shed light on something by your voice about about what you said, about what they did. Whatever this plan, this bully plan, because it's going to be different for all of you guys. Period. And they're like, oh my gosh, she knew. I want to see what else you said. Hold on, y'all. I just want to see. Because <laughs> there is something. I just feel like it's more than one thing here. Mm -hmm. What else was said here? What else is the collective thing for this person? For some of you guys, the empress also represents a baby's mom. You could have said something about a baby's mom. You could be the baby's mom. What else was said? What else did the collective say to scare this person? Show me. Oh, they don't want me to use this deck. Hold on, y'all. Damn. All right. Yep. What I tell you is, child, it is something that you are saying. This card shouldn't be in here. I heard. Put it over here. Okay. And look, the eight of ones on the bottom of this deck. Yep. Two of swords. Honey, you spoke. It, yeah. All right. Show me. All my beautiful universe, holy spirits. What else? Is, what did the collective say? What else did they say? The scared this person. What else was said? Oh, the six of wands. Yes. Yep. S something they were working on. This could be something that worked. This could be something that job. This could also be something that involved money here. And this is the world card. They could have been trying to play you out of some money. Something with work here. Yep. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, and for some of you guys, fuck yeah, they did. They were trying to have money from you. This is someone here that could have been trying to play mental mad games when it comes to money or finances. If this is a baby's dad and baby's mom, someone here could have thought, you know, um... You didn't know that they were lying about, you know, I, I don't know. Take it how it resonates for you about giving you the truth about when it comes to finances, money. They could have been hot money. They could have been making lies about why they couldn't uh, be there, why they couldn't give you money. Someone here could be having a secret account. Get what I tell you. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. From you as well. This person's toxic as hell. Yeah, and be careful as well here. Yep, and if this person did something, someone here did something sneaky. Now, for some of you guys, you um, you might not know that someone um could have got like a car or something in somebody's name. Mm -hmm. If this, I, I'm gonna say it this one time, honey, with the Queen and the King of Cups on the bottom on the uh this deck. Someone here could have got like uh a car, or something like that. Or some line of credit, something that has to deal with money and finances and a hermit in their child's name for someone else. So if you are the baby's mom, for example, and you have a child with this person, they could have got like their girlfriend's car, business, credit card, some shit that has to deal um like that in their in in y'all child's money in there. And you could have figured this out. You could have said something. It's something that you said. And it made them feel like, oh my gosh. When this come out, they're going to know it's me. You also, for someone here, um, you had shed some light as well about this person in another connection, in another relationship here. I think there is like three energies going on here. I, I don't know what is happening between you and this person, but there is something that you said, something that you knew that this person could have thought they were hiding from you and you knew the whole time or you're figuring it out and you're, it's just manifesting. But there's more to the story that you're going to find out. I don't know who that's for that this person has been hiding. And this has to do with money. This has to do with finances. And whatever they thought they were being slick. This is someone I thought you would never figure this out or never know this. But you figured this whole shit out. And it's fucking their whole head up. Okay. And they're guilty as hell. This is why they've been acting so goddamn cold. And this is the real reason why they've been taking time out from you. Because you're figuring them out. And the Page of Swords all, all, um, also came out, so they also watch you. What else is going on? Hold on, y'all. My heart was blocked. I was not available to receive um, love when you gave it. I kicked myself on how I sabotaged my, my life and it won't be the same. I'm sorry how I sabotaged this relationship. My life won't be the same. Whatever happened here, they sabotaged the fuck out of this relationship. My heart was blocked. I was not available to receive your love when you gave it. You could have trusted this person in some kind of way. This could have been you reestablishing trust or trying to get, for some of you guys, um, I'm going to tell you something. For some of you guys, this is you trying to get on the same page with the other parent and this person betrayed you again. Um, deliver from temptation. I feel that you will never look at me the same. It's hard for me to look at you at myself in the mirror. And whatever you find out what this person has did, this is why they've been acting funny and been taking a time out. Because once you find out exactly what happened here or what this person's did, this is going to fuck you up and change this person forever. I hope someone here, because this is also a jail court. 
I hope there ain't no jail time come. This this could be something because that's illegal to use someone's name. I keep hearing that. So a child, mm, this is not the way I wanted things to end. I wish I could take it back in time. Yeah. For some of you guys, this is why this is really done. This is why this person has really ended things. For some of you guys, this is person is trying to uh, ghost you. This is someone here that is trying to run away be before the rest of the bullshit come out. Because you're already on to them. You have already figured this person out. Trying to rob you. And for all you guys, it's going to be different. Mm -hmm. Connection and enlightenment. You got enlightenment on this connection. And it, 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 the thing about this is, when you fuck with the government and paperwork, because that's what it looks like here, you always leave a paper trail. So they can run to wherever the fuck they want to run to, they're going to get caught. And that's what I think this person is realizing. I'm going to be honest with you. I picked up on this before. I don't know. There's a lot of scams going out here, going around here, y'all. Please be careful. Yep, confusion. This person is scared. I feel like someone here is also confused because they don't know which way to go. I saw, yeah, look what just came back out. True love. Yep, 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 yep. Look at this. True uh, love and true love. For some of you guys, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I do see you getting a new start here with the Ace of Ones. We got true love here and love coming out. But illusion, the avoid your trap of mistaken and fantasy for a true soul collusion and uh, um, illusion. I said collusion, illusion, <laughs> enlightenment and soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect trust in the process. For some of you guys, you might be reconnecting with somebody here soon or have a new start with someone here. But you're going to get enlightenment on illusions here. Um, and that could be why you're getting a new... Uh, start from the universe here because i believe you were innocent in something that you were like deeply involved in or deeply affected by yep in this connection and you're going to be able to get a new start somewhere else um with someone else and this is going to bring in a true yep yes it is about yes it is deeply learn moment and embrace ding ding that's your confirmation this person here tried i don't know if someone uh, They tried to get you, honey. They tried to get you. But you figured this shit out. <laughs> and it's it scared the shit out of them. You're scaring the shit out of them. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and get you a love oracle, child. I, I like this energy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, give your relationship a chance. Someone here, no, you ain't gonna give this relationship another chance. They fucked this up. Religious factors. Yep. You, your um intuition is on point. Or for some of you guys, you um learned how to uh watch people from a distance. Like I'm gonna fall back and just pay attention as well. Something like that. Yeah, past life relationship. This is some, this, for, I, I got two energies going on. For some of you guys, this is your baby. Uh, you have a new energy coming in. You have a new connection coming towards you or you're already in one. Who's um coming towards you. You could be dealing with another. I've been picking up on a lot of ex energy. A lot of exes wanting to come back. You guys have a, a new start. Now, for some of you guys, this could be someone from your past that have feelings for you because the king and the queen of cups can also represent that and for others of you guys this could also be someone um of your baby's dad your baby's mom here that you are um onto the bullshit here religious factors is it um affecting this connection right now i told you it's your energy you ain't if it don't feel right you gonna speak on it and, and this is also goes for you empaths out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's your gut feeling. That is your intuition. That is your cup. As we all say, when I don't go with my gut feeling, God give you your um, intuition for a reason. We must use that. Men, men and women. 
Whether you are a man or a woman is when I go wrong. If I don't feel it, it ain't right. I'm going to fall back. I'm going to watch. I'm going to listen more to my energy, more into the energy around me. I'm going to start listening and seeing what's going on, getting confirmation from the divine, from source to see what the fuck is really going on, what's around me and in my situations. And if I see it, I'm going to call it. If it don't make sense, I'm not effing with it. And everything you've been saying so far, you've been on the money. There is something else sneaky here that's going to come out. For some of you guys that deals with money, it's going to be different for all of you guys. Whether this person is playing. Because someone here is playing with credit and credit report. And the sun card also represents a child. So be careful. That's why you can't try. It, it's hard for parents here. For some of you guys, you're going to get in a new relationship and start trying to manifest things on your own. Here or a new start here. You're going to realize something here that you're... you're I, I, something here is like that I, I'm about your baby's dad or your baby's mom here. This could even be your kid. Take it how it resonates with you. They did some kind of weird shit here and they tried to hide that shit from you as well. And that's going to come out that I'm picking up on. I don't know who that's for. That part of the message is not going to be for everybody. So please take it how it resonates. This person is trying to ghost you before they get caught. Whoever's resonating with that part of the message. Just so you know that. What's the Oracle message here? Early Daddy message, Holy Spirit. And they know they know you know this. They know you can feel it. And you've been on point. And they know there's only a matter of time before you figure out or you're going to say it. And they're scared. Because it's illegal. I might have to get y'all some hot tea cards. Because we, I don't know. Wait, did something flip over? Yep. Miracles. This person is praying for a miracle, honey, that you don't figure out whatever else. Yep, I told you, letting go. Uh-uh. Yep, be spontaneous. I told you. Something here is going to spontaneous pop off. That's why this person is going to let go. You know, they were not expecting this. That's what being spontaneous is. This whole energy you in is spontaneous. They don't know what the fuck you want to say next. They don't know what's going to pop out next. They don't know... Yes. And it's insane. What you're going to catch next. And it's scaring them. Yep, communication. I cannot make this shit up. You are on the money, honey. You are oh, you are saying it. Whether you are a man or a woman. Yeah, I told you. Oh, my God. And it's stressing its purpose now. And you are, you're innocent. And you're going to be able to prove your innocence. I'm telling you, something here can deal with jail time. I cannot. Inner knowing. It's your into You are on the money. Whatever you are feeling, you're saying it. Uh-uh. Something is wrong. Something ain't right. Uh-uh. You on the money. And they know you figuring out they bullshit. Yep. Love. This person still has feelings for you. We obviously, obviously seen that with the Knight of Wands being here. This is also something I could have tried to block your, um, you having a new start, a new love life. You feel it. They know you feel it. You, and there's more to it. They, they know you know it. And then there's a matter of time before you say it, like, no, nah, something else ain't right. And you're going to pick it up. I'm telling you, you are on the money. Damn it. I want to see this. I'm sorry. Let me see this person's feelings and emotions towards you right now. I, I'm sorry, y'all. Ooh, yeah, breaking free. And there they go. There they go running. This person is taking flight. For some of you guys, you need to um get start getting your ducks in order, honey. Because this person is, is trying to leave. Take flight, honey. Because they fucked up. They did. I heard way too much. Ooh. Someone here did way too much. And they know it. I heard they can run, but they can't hide. Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. I'm gonna find you. Y'all know I'm sick. What's this? Uh, you are giving too many fucks. Yep, I'm telling you, someone here is about to, like, fuck it. I'm done. Um, s Send a pic. And for some of you guys, they there could be pictures. There could be something here this person has or you have. Something you said, something you shown and said. You could have posted something and said something. And they're like, oh, my gosh. How the... F yep, spend time with babe. What is this? Um, Deal with your drama. I'm telling you, 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 this person here, they don't want to deal with this anymore. They want out. They want out of this. 
Uh, let me get your signs and planets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, journey and self know. This is uh, this person is going to turn karmic. Someone here is going a while they going to flee. You can expect not to hear from someone. You can expect all of a sudden someone to drop from the face of the motherfucking earth. And then later you're going to find out why. But something here is going to lead to this person. It doesn't even matter. You, it, it, This is what you got to understand. When you are spiritually protected and when you are protected by the universe here, you ain't got to matter because God always going to make it right. And then for some of you guys here, when you are dealing with a, there's a legal document here, there's a paper trail. You already know enough. That's why they're trying to get away anyway. Yep. <laughs> Hearth. This is someone that did too much in your motherfucking energy in reverse. I cannot make this up. They did way too much. Yep, Venus. I feel like someone here is in love with you. For some of you guys, this is an ex-person, an ex-baby's dad or baby's mom that is still in love with your ass. Um, yep, the sixth house, what I tell you, is the eighth house, Scorpio's mystery. This is someone here that is scared to death. The sixth house is Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Scorpion. They are scared as hell. They have stress and anxiety here because their shit is going to come to light. Whatever the fuck they thought they did, it ain't going to work. For some of you guys, when it's come out, this is someone here. I'm just going to let you know. They they plan to already have put uh, some kind of distance between, between you. Nurture, yep. Review and shine, yep. And think, change. Hell yeah, north node and reverse. I cannot make this shit up. I can't. This is someone here. You ain't going here for them. This person is not going to be part of your future. If they're not already gone, if you wonder why all oh, someone here is all of a sudden very distant, they are gone or they're just acting weird, like they're not around, like they're not like what they're used to, this is why. It's what they did. Sexual perversions here. We got beginnings here. We got the whore Babylon is here. Someone here could have a truck. Someone here could have got like a truck in someone's name. I'm here. He or she knows I love you is here. Beauty, industry, fashion. Someone here could work in here. There's a dark witch here for their car. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. There's something going on with like someone getting a vehicle in their name. We got a uh, YouTube being here. Yep, you are divine feminine. Someone here could be a transgender house. Someone here could also got a house in somebody's name. I don't know where that's coming out from. Yep, lifted. Yep, psychotic and balanced shape shift shifter. I'm driving past your house. I blocked you and ghosted you. I can't make this up. Someone here is going to block and ghost you. Cash app. What else is here? Police. I can't make it up. Someone here is going to jail. I'm just going to tell you. That's why they're taking flight. Whatever was done was illegal. It doesn't matter. And I knew I was going to see Archangel Michael. You were protected. It's universal protect. They know this. This is someone that know they're going to get caught. Someone here can know they're going back to jail. I got child assets. I got to tell you, they know they're going back in jail. And they're still in love with you. Someone here know they're going back to jail. Airbnb, they could be... um. Written Airbnb. This is not his kid. I lied. I lied. I lied. Ha ha. The karmic. Someone here, look, lawyer or judge. I'm telling you, you might have to get a lawyer or a judge, or y'all gonna end up going to court. Yeah, I can't make this up. Throat shock at anything else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone here could have dark hair, criminal records. This person's going to jail. They told lies on you. They. This person has lied and told lies on you, child. I, child, someone here, they did too much. And this is why I cannot, and you cannot trust the other parent that be putting shit in their other kid's name and all that other shit. Because I heard that three times for some of you guys. Something like that has to deal with this situation. Someone here did something illegal behind y'all's back. Um, here. And they know that it's only a matter of time they ass gonna get caught. I don't know who's going to resonate with that part. I love you all. Stay dope. I hope this helped you out in more ways than one. I'm going to get your time out message. I think that's what we're going to read today to close out your daily message. All right. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we're going to read time out. In the world of Burr, every soul has time to observe, to think, to be, to ponder the way to live, to live consciously and thoughtfully. Yet, without lies and manipulation, yes, there is joy and delight and grace and play. However, we're intensely, we're intensely social 
creatures and at times we must be alone or we risk losing ourselves and our seeing of ourselves only in relationship to others. You two are now at this stage what others think, how they see you, the workplace, a community. Your family has all influenced you in many ways, but now it is time to see who you are. Please take some time to get to know who you are when there is nothing um, between you and your your own soul, mind, body, and spirit. And that's what you may have done. You you guys may, like I said, for some of you guys, you it might have took you some time to fall back. And you were able, you started putting shit together. And it started to pull on your inner knowing. And you started saying shit. Like, well, dots. You started connecting the dots for some of you guys. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ingrates abound. They're all around. Damn it. This person has caught damn it. And someone here is now, I mean, someone here is scared shitless. I'm going to be honest. I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you guys. But there's a fraudulent thing this person has done. Or, and for some of you guys, it's not fraudulent. It's very, very conniving and extremely backstabbing. Here, you're going to figure this out. You're already figuring this out, and it's coming out. It's only a matter of time anyway. Well, done in the dark will always come to the light. I love you all. Stay dope. Don't forget to hit that bell. Hit all when you are doing that. Keeping your energy and your frequency tuned right here into your spiritual nourishment. So when you are getting your messages, guys, you are getting all of the message that's resonating with you or part of the message because they are general. And other readings you're getting here on YouTube. Stay dope. I love you. Next video upload. I'll share in Amon.